In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the percent of a number uh, and looking at it in two different ways. There's two different ways to determine the percent of a number, or at least in this lesson there are, and they're both wonderful, excellent ways of doing it, and it's really important that you understand uh, mathematically the reasoning behind them so that it actually makes sense to your brain. So, where this section starts is understanding what 100% of a number is. So 100% of a number is the number itself. So uh, what I mean by that is saying 100% of 25 is 25. 100% of $4 is $4. 100% of 6 feet is 6 feet. 100% of 12 million is 12 million. So 100% of a number is the number itself. But what we're going to be doing is investigating questions like this that I have circled in red is determining what's 250% of 12 or what's something other than 100% of a number. But if we understand the 100% of a number, uh, concept, this will be much easier to kind of reason with. So we can use <clears throat> mental math such as, and you'll, you'll come up with your own methods in your brain, such as doubling, such as halving, and such as dividing by 10. There's other methods that you can do this to estimate the percents of numbers. So we're going to look at two examples right now, and we're not even going to use a calculator. And you're going to find out that probably in a lot of cases you understand what this actually means. So let's determine 250% of 12. Where I tend to always start these questions is with the concept of 100%. So if I asked you what 100% uh, of 12 is, if you understood this, initial part, you should understand that 100% of 12 is 12. If I asked you what 200% of 12 is, I hope you'd recognize that, that is twice as much. So 200% of 12 would be 24. If I asked you, and you'll understand some of you have your own techniques to doing this, and you can do it any alternative way that you want to, uh, but you might notice where I'm going with this. If I asked you what uh, 50% of 12 is. You'd say, oh, that's half of 12. 50% of 12 is 6. But what you've noticed I've done here is if you see what I have circled in uh, red here, what I have boxed in red here, do you notice that I have 200% of 12 and I also have 50% of 12? If I combine those, would I not have 250%? So what I, if I combine those, I should know that 250% of 12 is going to be 24 plus 6, which is going to be 30. So I'm just combining those two numbers. If 200% is 24, if 50% is 6, then 250% would have to be 30, which is a, a neat way of doing it. So and there's other techniques to try in these problems. But let's try another one. So let's try and figure out 3% of $450. Well, like I would suggest, I know what 100% of $450 is. I know that 100% of $450 is $450. Now what I'm going to do is reason my way down to 1%. It's really easy to do if you divide by 10. So 10% of $450 would be 10 times less. If 100% is 450, then if we divide it by 10, would we not have 10%? And 450 divided by 10 is $45. So 10% of $450 is $45. <clears throat> then we could find out 1%. If we knew that 10% was $45, I think 1% would be 10 times less than that. So if we divided it by 10, we're going to have an amount of $4.50. Okay. So if you know that 1% of $450 is $4.50, would it not be quite straightforward to figure out 3%? Because 3% would be 3 times more than 1%. Again, there's lots of ways to do this, but this is a mental math method to actually going about finding the percent of a number. If 1% is 450, then 450 times 3 is going to be 3%. And that is equivalent, and you can do it on your calculator if you'd like to. 450 times 3 is equivalent to $13.50. Okay, so that would be 3% of 450. 
So that's one method is mental math. And I love that method because it actually starts with the idea of what's 100% of a number and then reasons from there. And you can come up with your own reasoning techniques. What you're going to notice in this next part is we have the first same two initial questions. We're just going to do it a different way. We're going to do it with our calculator and by calculating. So if you would like to calculate the percent of a number, what you do is convert the percent. So you take the percent and you want to make it into a decimal. We looked at that in a previous lesson, how to make a percent into a decimal. You just take the percent and you divide by 100. Okay? <clears throat> and once we've done that, we multiply by the number we need the percent of. So we're just going to times by the number. Okay? So, a little bit different in a sense, and a little bit maybe less uh, cognitively intuitive in a way, uh, but we're going to get the same answer here. So 250% of 12, we already know it's 30, but let's just do it with the calculator method. If we were to do that, step number one is to convert the percent to a decimal. So I'm going to do 250 divided by 100. So that's 2.5. That's step number one. That applies to that guy there. The next step is to take that decimal and multiply by what you're getting the percent of, and we're getting the percent of 12. So 2.5 times 12. And again, it, it does make some sense. 250% of 12 would be 2.5 times 12, right? Because 1 times 12 would be 100%. So it does make sense. Make the percent a decimal and multiply by the number you need the percent of. So 2.5 times 12, again, you could check on your calculator, is 30. Okay, so same answer we had previously. Same thing here, 3% of 450, we should anticipate that we're going to get $13.50. So we can make the percent into a decimal. So 3 divided by 100, again, you could do that on your calculator. Is, oops, 3 divided by 100, 0 0.03. And if you times that by $450, you'd get 3% of $450 and that is thirteen dollars and fifty cents and once again I could show you that on my calculator <clears throat> now the biggest mistake in this next question and again you might want to pause this to practice it on your own is I see a lot of students think that this percent here is a decimal and they think what they have to do is just do 0.5 times 350 don't do that okay if you do 0.5 times 350 you're gonna get half of 350 which is fifty percent now what this is actually not what this is actually saying is don't find out 50% of 350 find out 0.5% so less than 1%. So you first of all even though this looks like a decimal number it's a percent unit. So to make that percent into a decimal you need to divide by 100. So half a percent is actually 0 0.005 as a decimal and then multiply by 350 and it should make sense that it's a really small number because half a percent of something is less than one percent of that number so half a percent of 350 is 1.75 and that makes sense because one percent if you think about the mental math method if I wanted to find out one percent of 350 I could divide it by 100 so if I divide that by 100 that right there that I have on my calculator right here is 1% of 350. So if I wanted to find out half a percent, I could divide it by 2. And I get the exact same answer, the 1.75, whether I use a mental math type of method or whether I use a calculator type of method.